Welcome back to another video from Not Only Trout. Today we're going to be tying up the Easy Cray. In the vise we have a Moonlit Tagata ML801 hook and we're using some Semperfly Classic Wax Thread and 6 aught in the color Tan. What we're going to do first is take some small black dumbbell eyes and figure eight them right on top of the hook. Go ahead and wrap around underneath that base and get these locked in nice and tight. At this point, if you want to increase your durability, feel free to hit it with some super glue or adhesive of your choice. Now that we have that tied in nice and tight, we're going to go ahead and grab some zonker strips. We have these strips and we're going to measure them out to be one full hook length of leather. So right at the hook length, go ahead and trim that off. And then you're going to come back, measure, make sure you measured it so you can have consistency in your flies. So we're going to measure that again. And you'll see I cut mine just a little bit too long. So I'm going to trim off just that little bit of tag end. That way I can really focus on the consistency on my flies. Now that we have that measured out properly, we're going to take our thread. We're going to butt the front end of that rabbit zonker up against the lead eye. And we're going to run it down the back side of the hook and just tie that in nice and tight. Some of the fur might get trapped. That's okay. This fly is meant to be easy. It's meant to be a little bit dirty, but it does give a lot of wiggle. Now we'll go ahead and repeat that process again. Measure that one hook length of zonker. Go ahead and cut, and you'll come back and measure again just so you can make sure they have the same length. You see, I have a tendency just to cut just a smidge too long the first time, so I have to go back in and trim it again. Then once I have that tied up, go ahead and put that on the front side of the hook with the hair flowing back and do the exact same process. Just tie it in nice and tight and keep it so that it's on the front side of the hook this time so you can have the rabbit on both sides of the hook. Once you get to the back, just go back and forth, tie that down nice and tight, get it locked in place. And you'll see that I'm going through and I'm pulling these zonker strips apart. So what I did is I went from underneath and pulled back between it so I can lock in and pull that front side zonker strip a little bit to the forward. Then I'll rock the opposite direction that I, as I normally do. And then I'll go in between the zonker strips again and then wrap forward like I normally would. And I'm going to do this a couple of times just to help those zonker strips have a little bit of extra splay in them. Because once you get them wet, they're going to start sticking to each other. So you want to make it so that you can keep them from sticking together. So do that a couple of times. It'll help them splay apart a little bit more naturally when they're getting used. Now that I've got that done, tie things in. You may notice that you've trapped a couple of stragglers in there. That's no big deal. You can trim those out. You can leave them there. Doesn't really matter. Now that I've got everything tied in nice and tight, I'm going to grab some Easy Bug yarn. And this time it's uh, in gold. And I've already separated the material down from its three-strand core to individual strands. So I'm just going to tie in one of the strands, and advance my thread back up to the dumbbell eyes, and then I'm just going to wrap this with nice, tight, touching wraps. And keep preening the material back so that I can just fill this up and not trap too much of the material underneath it. By doing this, I'm going to have a nice buggy and wiggly body that will give some great motion when you're chasing bass, carp, even trout, whatever you want to chase with this. And then what you'll do is you just get this until you can lock it up nice and tight behind those uh, lead eyes and tie that off right behind, tie it in nice and tight. And what you'll do is you'll preen all those fibers back, make sure you're not trapping anything cinch it in behind, do a couple wraps in front, a couple wraps behind, get that tied off, and then put your thread in front of the eyes and go in with your scissors and trim out that tag end of your easy bug yarn. Now what you'll do, go ahead and whip finish your fly off. You do a four turn whip finish if you want. I like doing two whip finishes just to make sure that nothing comes undone. And then once that's done, you have the option, and you'll see me doing it here, 
of going in and hitting the thread wraps with some UV resin. In this case, I'm using some Raid Zap Thin and just putting that on there. And then I'll end up hitting it with a UV torch. So once you have the thread rats covered up by some UV resin, you'll want to go ahead and hit that with a UV torch. And that'll help seal everything up to increase the durability when you're bouncing this along the bottom. Keep that thread nice and strong. Now that you've got that done, this fly is ready to fish for bass, carp, catfish, trout, whatever the case may be. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please take a moment and subscribe. It really does help us out. Thank you. Bye-bye.